All right, hi everybody. This is lesson 2.1. Uh, so I don't have either one of you guys in class today. Um, so this is, you're responsible on your own for this lesson, 2.1, and tomorrow when I do 2.2. This lesson is very quick, uh, so I'll, I'll get through this within the next, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, and then I'll post it for you guys. And yeah, it'll be responsible for Tuesday for you guys. And then you could access this uh, maybe late afternoon. Today's right now is Monday, so late afternoon or early morning, and then you could ask questions online in the afternoon. Okay, organized counting. So Sabrina leaves from homeroom to her locker and then from, her, from there to her second period class. There are three ways she can go from her locker uh, to her locker, so from a first period class to a locker, there are three different ways she can go. And there's four different ways she could go to her next class. Draw a map diagram of this situation, and, and then it says how many possible outcomes are there. All right, so she is going from her locker, sorry, from homeroom class, then she has to go to her locker, and then from her locker, she's going to her second period class. Okay, so the way we do a map diagram is we just draw different routes or routes. So if she has three different ways to go from her homeroom class to her locker, we draw three lines. So this could be going one way, uh, there could be another way which is longer, and maybe a third way um, which is just as long as the second one. So we do three different routes. So to go from homeroom to locker, we have three different routes. Now from her locker to go to her second peer class, there is four different ways. So we do the same idea, so we draw now four different routes to get to her second period. Okay, so we have three. I know the glare is kind of there, but so three routes and then four routes. That is it for the map diagram. Second part says how many possible routes are there? Well, um, it would be three times four, which is 12. Okay, so if you think that, say Sabrina goes this way to class, so she goes to this one, so once she goes that way, then she has four options to go to her second period class. If she takes the middle route, this, and then from there she has four different routes, so that now is eight, and if we go the third route, then she has four more routes from the third, which is 12 units, so it's just three, times four, which gives you 12 different routes or possible possible routes. By the way, I'm not wearing a mask because there isn't anybody in class today. Um, so just, that's why, okay? No one in class right now I'm in. Okay, so that's it for the map diagram. Okay, now we're going to All right, so number two says, to win a high school baseball playoff round, two teams play a best of three series. Draw a tree diagram, tree diagram to illustrate all the possible outcomes. Outcomes. Okay, so what best of three, for those who don't know, a best of three means you will play up to three games. Whoever wins two games wins the series. So it's the best of the three games. So someone will have to win two, and when someone wins two, they win the series and move on to the next round. Likewise, you might hear a best of five series. A best of five would mean a team would have to win three games. Okay, so you could play up to five games, but once a team wins three games, then they win that round. And the last one you might hear about is a best of seven. Here, best of seven, that is a team must win four games in order to win the round. Because once you win four, there's no way a team can beat you because there's only seven games. So this one we're gonna do a simpler one is, a, and for this there aren't any ties. Okay, it's either you win or you lose. So a best of three series, that means one team has to win twice. So tree diagram, I told you guys last week to start at a, a dot or at a point and then from that point, we're gonna branch off. Okay, so 
in the first, we're going to play one game. So say we are playing, Rob and Paul, so we are either going to, we have two options for the first game. It's we either going to win the game or we're going to lose the first game. So one or the other. So you're either going to win or lose. That would be the first game. Now we're going to play a second game. So if we win the first game, we then play a second game. So we could win the second game or we could lose the second game. Let's see if I can get the angle better here. Okay, if we lose the first game, we can still play a second game. So we could win the second game or lose the second game. Okay, so this first one here is the first game. These represent the second game. Okay, and that's also based on the first, so if you win the first or lose the first. Okay, so from here, so here we win the first game and win the second game. Well, if we win the first and win the second, the series is over. We have won two games. So this one stops here. So this one stops because you won two games already. So you cannot branch off any further from this one. But if you win the first and lose the second, that means your both teams are one and one. So you have to play a third game. So this one, after your, if you win, lose, you have two options in the third game. You can either win the third game or lose the third game. Okay, likewise going down here. So if we lose the first one, win the second, again, both teams are one and one. So then you can then win or lose the third game. Okay, this is the third game here. And that's if it's needed. Okay, and lastly, we're going to the last one here. If you lose the first and lose the second, then it's over as well, because that means the other team has won two games, so it's finished. So it's done here. And let's put a line cut on the wall. So how many outcomes do we have? Well, we count all the ends of the branches. So one, two, three, four, five, six possible uh, outcomes for this series. It doesn't ask you to list how many. This says to draw a tree, tree diagram, but let's do it anyways. So we have a total of six possible outcomes to this series. Let's move this shift back. Okay, so there is six possible outcomes for the series. Okay, and that is the whole lesson for 2.1. That is super quick. Um, the homework, oops, on the other page, to the other computer. So we're working here, page 67, one to four. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, 10, 12. Just make a note here, omit 6B. Omit being do not do 6B. Okay, so 1 through 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, 12, and leave out 6B. And that is all for the lesson, and I'll catch base with you guys with the 2.2 video tomorrow.